uh, robotic spacecraft is now on its way to the moon's uh, orbit where... A Chinese lunar mission has found a new source of water on the moon. China's recent lunar mission has just revealed something astonishing beneath the moon's surface. Something that scientists, defense analysts, and conspiracy theorists alike had long feared but could never confirm. During their latest Chang'e mission, the Chinese National Space Administration, CNSA, made an extraordinary discovery in the moon's southern polar region. Using advanced ground-penetrating radar and geological analysis tools, the mission revealed a vast and highly dense subsurface anomaly, entirely unlike anything found in prior lunar studies. This massive underground structure, buried deep beneath the dusty terrain of the moon, may not be natural in origin. The implications are immense, and the nature of the discovery has triggered intense speculation. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The anomaly was detected under the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the oldest and largest known impact craters in the solar system. Unlike the rocky formations typically associated with lunar geology, this structure reflected radar signals in a way that suggests high concentrations of metallic elements and possibly even advanced alloy composites. Not only was its composition suspicious, but its symmetry and layering hinted at artificial design, straight lines, uniform thickness, and rectangular compartments, something geology simply doesn't produce by chance. The Chinese team initially described it only as a dense metallic mass, but further analysis exposed intricacies that defied natural formation. Immediately, questions began to swirl. Was it an ancient alien base? A remnant of a lost advanced civilization? Or perhaps a sign of earlier human activity predating recorded history? This is where the fears really begin. For decades, there's been quiet unease in scientific and political communities about what might lie beneath the surface of the moon. The moon has always held a veil of mystery. Its tidal lock, the strange seismic phenomena known as moonquakes, and the bizarre anomalies observed by Apollo-era astronauts. But now, there's tangible evidence of something that doesn't belong. China's discovery has become the first verifiable indicator that the moon may not be a barren rock shaped solely by cosmic violence and lunar volcanism. Instead, it could harbor secrets that challenge everything humanity thought it knew about the solar system's history and its own place within it. The structure itself is estimated to be over 250 kilometers in diameter and at least several kilometers deep. Its layers appear segmented and methodically arranged. The orientation is oddly consistent with lunar magnetic anomalies previously discovered in the region, suggesting that the object is not only massive, but may have a magnetic or energetic function. Some scientists have speculated it could be a defunct energy source, something akin to a buried reactor core or electromagnetic transmitter. But that interpretation opens the door to possibilities that stretch well beyond the realm of geology or astrophysics. It implies that someone or something built it. And if that's the case, humanity is not alone in the cosmos and never has been. China has, of course, kept the raw data closely guarded. Only sanitized images and partial readings have been released to the public. But insiders, including a few anonymous sources within international space collaborations, have leaked portions of high-resolution scans. These scans show patterns of lattice-like structures, angular corridors, and depressions that resemble ventilation shafts or antenna conduits. There's even a suggestion of large cavities that might once have held machinery or infrastructure. The Chinese government has refrained from making any declarative statement about the structure's origin, but their silence is telling. Instead of downplaying the discovery as a geological oddity, they have begun building plans for a permanent base in the region, raising eyebrows across global space agencies. Why the moon? Why now? That's the question echoing in the minds of strategists and scientists around the world. The moon is no longer just a symbolic frontier or scientific curiosity, it's quickly becoming a strategic chessboard. Control of the lunar surface, and more importantly its subsurface, could be the key to future space dominance. If this buried structure is indeed a technological remnant of an alien origin, its materials and knowledge could offer breakthroughs in propulsion, energy, or even weaponry. Suddenly, the moon isn't just an inert satellite, it's a treasure trove. And China has staked the first claim. What makes the situation even more unnerving is that the structure's discovery was not entirely by accident. 
According to documents quietly circulated through academic networks, Chinese researchers had been targeting the South Pole Aitken Basin for years. Their lunar orbiters had detected gravitational anomalies inconsistent with known topography, strange mass concentrations that bent satellite trajectories and disturbed navigational instruments. These were not ordinary gravitational variances caused by dense rock or crustal shifts. They were focused, localized, and strangely aligned. Some even speculate that these mass anomalies were leaking faint but regular electromagnetic signals, pulses so faint they could be mistaken for background noise unless someone was specifically looking for them. What these pulses mean is still unclear, but their existence raises profound questions. Could the structure still be active? Is it some sort of ancient beacon or failsafe? Or worse, was it dormant and has now been disturbed? The implications are not just scientific, they're existential. If Earth has been under quiet observation or even passive interaction from an unknown intelligence, then the framework of human history changes. So do the stakes of space exploration. Another detail feeding into this wave of unease is the timing of the discovery. Around the same period, amateur astronomers and independent observatories recorded sudden flashes of light from the Moon's southern hemisphere. Brief bursts of luminescence, visible for only seconds, but unmistakable. The flashes coincided closely with the Chang'e rover's most significant radar sweeps. The idea that the radar itself might have triggered a response has led to a surge of theories suggesting that the buried structure may have an automated defense mechanism, or a monitoring system still partially functional after perhaps millions of years. These aren't idle speculations either. Multiple defense analysts from around the globe have confirmed unusual patterns of satellite movement near the moon particularly Chinese and Russian orbital assets quietly adjusting their trajectories without formal announcement. There's also been a sharp uptick in encrypted communications between Chinese military satellites and Earth-based stations shortly after the discovery. Something is being coordinated and it's happening behind closed doors. There's also a political angle that's hard to ignore. The Chinese government has long emphasized space as a critical pillar of its national defense and economic future. Their space program is not just about exploration, it's about power projection, technological supremacy, and national pride. With this new discovery, they may now hold knowledge or resources that give them a strategic advantage far beyond what was ever imagined. And unlike previous moon missions that were conducted in the spirit of global cooperation, this one is being handled with secrecy and tight control. That worries other world powers who now fear they are late to the most important race of all. Even more unsettling is what this discovery implies for the broader solar system. If the moon, a celestial body that's been observed and studied for centuries, can still harbor a structure of unknown origin, what else might be out there, waiting just below the surface of seemingly barren worlds? Could Mars have its own buried relics? Could the asteroid belt be the shattered remains of something far older than humanity's evolutionary timeline? The moon has always been close enough to feel familiar, but now it feels foreign again. And that sense of unfamiliarity brings with it a gnawing fear. There's also an ethical dimension few are willing to discuss openly. If the structure is truly of alien origin, should humanity be interacting with it at all? Are there protocols, or should there be, for handling the artifacts of non-human intelligence? The rush to secure and exploit the structure may be setting off a chain of events whose consequences no one can fully predict. And yet, the logic of geopolitics dictates that whoever gets there first and understands it first gets to set the rules. The moon has become a high-stakes game, and there are no referees. While the public remains largely in the dark, fragments of the truth are seeping through the cracks. Whistleblowers, independent analysts, and persistent researchers have begun piecing together a fuller picture. Satellite imagery, Lunar seismic data and obscure academic papers point to the same conclusion. Something is under the moon's surface, and it's not just rock. It's intelligent, it's deliberate, and it's not human. That understanding is slowly but surely reshaping the conversation among those who have access to the data. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on China's moon discovery? What do you think it reveals? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.